Shredder! What's going on guys? Week 5 of the Summer Shred fucking game changer update this week. This is my favorite week in a really long time. But before I go into the nitty gritty and, and awesome details, let's go ahead and hop on the scale and see if we did work in that weight loss effort. Last week we weighed in at 222.6 if my memory serves me right. And let's see if this week went well. Spoiler alert, this shit went well. Two nineteen point nine OMFing G. I'm fucking blown away by that way and I did not expect it. I mean I worked my ass off. But I did not see being in the two teens. My prayer was to be right around 221. So like I say every damn time, while weight loss is not the most important thing, it certainly is something that I like tracking, watching. And as long as I'm not like uh, starving myself, which trust me, Big No-No is eating plenty. I just think it's tight that I lost uh, over two pounds this last week. So let's dive into this week and let's see why I'm essentially glowing. You might uh, you might think I was I was pregnant with all this glow. Mood's been really, really good overall. I mean, I've essentially spent the last five weeks spinning, ruminating, tons of anxiety, uh, doubting myself, questioning everything ever since my siblings and a bunch of people graduated college and sent me into this downward spiral of misery. But for whatever reason, this week it started to do much better. But beyond anything, I'm grateful. I've been hitting the knees every morning. Some people might not be into this, but I'm just trying to pray when I wake up. What I'm specifically praying to, I don't even think it matters at this point. I'm just trying to ask God, the universe, the powers that may be, the forces that are clearly greater than myself just for help and for guidance and, and for direction. And I do feel that it sort of starts me off uh, in a good way. It definitely has some sort of effect and I like it and I think it's made a difference. The other thing that's been crazy this week um, in terms of my mood is that I've been getting up earlier and I think that's been making a really good difference. I've been doing a lot better with my mood. Much less anxiety, much less rumination. It's been fucking amazing. And you know, what goes up must come down, what goes down must come up. I try not to get overly attached to anything but I, I can definitely identify, recognize and be grateful. Diet went awesome this week. I, I'm just, I'm on a flip and roll. If you guys don't normally tune into my weekly weigh-in series, The Summer Shred, I'm eating lean meats, seeds, nuts, fruits, veggies, complex carbohydrates, no gluten, no added sugar, and it's just working. I'm not counting calories. I'm not counting macros quantity. I'm just eating till I don't feel hungry anymore and, uh, and drinking tons of water. I'm probably getting at least a gallon a day, which feels good. Lots of pee-pee time, which feels nice. And, um, well, let me send you in the kitchen and show you what a normal meal is for me. Normal snacky poo. Go on. Get the fuck out of here. We'll see you soon. Still doing a lot of the same, fellas and ladies. Still doing... Ah. Oh, oh, Jenna. A lot of the same. Kale. Collard green. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's how I get my veggies. Blood here. So that's how I get down. If you guys want more details, if you want to see me do uh, like a full day of eating, I'd be so down to do that upon your request. This is actually the part of the video I was most excited to talk about. This was my first full week truly in CrossFit. Four times this last week, I woke up at 5.30 in the morning to go to a 6 a.m. CrossFit class. And I did it with my fiance, Jesse, because she's doing it with me. And I've had more fun working out this last week than I think I've ever had in my whole life. I feel like CrossFit is a giant playground for adults. And we're running and we're jumping and we're doing pull-ups, we're doing push-ups and we're doing uh, bar work and we're learning Olympic lifts and, and we're stretching and we're doing warm-up mobility stuff that I never do and we're laughing and we're having fun and I was getting outside myself. I mean, I was getting outside myself like I was just in the moment and that's really really hard for me to do I'm, I'm constantly in my own head but I found myself just being in the moment with those people and there's a competitiveness about it there's a camaraderie and a community thing about it and I've never been so sore <laughs> my whole body for the last few days has been so sore I'm starting to get a little more adjusted now but I think between that and, and, and my diet I mean I just 
don't know, it's just been a really good week and the exercise was key, you know, and I'm going to keep getting up in the morning and going because what I'm finding is when I get up early and I knock out that workout, I've got so much more energy for the rest of my week, the rest of my day, excuse me. I'm finding myself being more productive and more energetic and kind of riding the high of that, that training session and that group energy the whole day. And I'm being, honestly, I don't even recognize myself this last week. I'm getting things done that I've been putting off. My attitude seems better and I'm just less in my head. It's like I'm burning up a lot of that anxiety early in the morning and I don't really know what to make of it. I don't know if it will last, but it's been a really awesome week and I've just loved the challenge of this new uh, style of training. So far, so fucking good. If you guys want to come train with me, come to CrossFit Tannisporn. It's called T9000. Come fucking train with me. Hit me up. Let me know. I want you to come train with me. Um, that's where you are going to find me for a long time. And so I hope that if anyone's in the area that wants to try something new, um, from powerlifting, Olympic weightlifting, to plyometrics, to running, to jumping, to bodyweight stuff, to gymnastics, to everything you can think of, come fucking join me at T9000. I'm going to be doing it this whole summer. And I honestly could just ramble the whole, whole fucking rest of the video about it because I had so much fun this last week. So much fun. So much fun. So a week in review is that things are going well. I think starting CrossFit has been a game changer for me. And um, and I think it is it is the catalyst right now for this whole new phase of, of uh, this summer shred and just my summer. You know, I'm not saying it's the perfect thing, but getting up in the morning, huge. Um, doing a, a gratitude journal, huge. Sorry, I didn't mention that. Saying my prayers to the powers that may be. Don't get tweaked out or freaked out about the God thing. I'm just saying to the, to the universe, that's been really helpful. And then, um, and then staying really busy, staying active, sticking to my diet, remembering why I'm doing it. This is my most encouraging mood week that I've had in probably six months, probably six months. And I don't take that for granted. That's a big fucking deal. Um, this was the least depressed, least anxious, least race brain, spinny, negative, dark rumination week in the last six months. So that tells me I'm doing something that's working and my job is to not question it, not overthink it, just keep putting one foot in front of the other and that's what I plan on doing. That's exactly what I plan on doing. I'm gonna keep showing up to the early workouts. I'm gonna keep learning, I'm gonna keep reading. Uh, I'm gonna keep on keeping on and I'm gonna stick to my diet. I'm gonna keep in touch with you guys work my 12-step program. I'm really grateful for this week. Now, if you catch me next week and I'm doing miserable, then fine, we'll deal with that. But until then, I'm going to keep wearing this salmon shirt that looks pink on camera. And I appreciate you guys. Here's some pictures uh, showing my body update. I'm really excited to show these pictures because this is the leanest I've been in three years. This is the leanest I've been in three years. So you can actually finally start to tell in these photos. So the body progression thing, that's time for that now. Thanks for tuning in and hope you guys have an awesome rest of your week. I appreciate you. Big no-no out. Peace.